What's going on, ladies, ladies, women, females, powerful, powerful, powerful beings that bring us in existence. This is Chris the Dating Doc. I'm doing a new series, um, and I think it's going to stay permanent. <clears throat> it's called Megafire. Megafire, I'm going to be dropping some gems when it comes to female and male advice, things that you can apply. I definitely invite you to check out the male advice videos that could also provide you some perspective. Um, I'm not afraid to cater to both men and women. That's the difference, right? You have either two types of male dating coaches. You have the ones that teach game to the males, seduction techniques, red pill, P way, whatever you want to call it. And then you have male dating coaches that uh, coach women. Now, when they coach women, sometimes it could be a lot of like, um, you know, putting women down or putting men down. That's not the way that I roll. I think that there's, I am a huge believer in balance in this world and there needs to be balance in order for things to work, right? There's night and day, there's hot and cold, male and female, yin and yang. So for us to talk about each other and put each other down, we're not accomplishing much. So that's why, and me, I'm just the kind of guy that I like things a little bit hard because that's how I grow as a person. So if I can do advice for both men and women, shoot, even better. So what's the topic about? The topic is about how men can sometimes feel mentally burned out. And I'm going to frame in a couple of examples that I've gone through and then provide some tips. And if you see on the right side of the screen, you see an action plan. It's a real quick, quick and dirty action plan to take. Don't look at the action plan and just say, cool, I seen the video, I got the point, move on. The more you watch this video, the more things stay cemented with you. I chose the logo for Megafire of that white hot seeding type of fire. And it's because it'll stick with you, it'll burn you, right? So I want this to stay with you. I want this to be something that can become a habit that you get a practice. So without further ado, so let me give you an example. Uh, first time I lived with a woman was back in 2007 and she was military and so was I still am. And, um, uh, so we, we, you know, we're in the same industry, a lot of same type of conversations. It was the advantage was, okay, cool. I get to, um, I get to talk about things that she can relate to and vice versa. But at the same time. Since we worked in the same line of work, then you kind of get burned out of the same stuff, right? So I would get home after uh, normally we wake up early in the morning and then we do a full day of, of work. And not to mention in the morning, we we're just running a couple miles and then we get home and I got to get out my uniform that just added about anywhere from eight to 10 pounds, depending on what I got on me of weight on me. So I'm pretty tired. I am pretty tired. I want to relax. At that time, it was Xbox and some TV. And um, what would happen? What would happen is at that time, my woman, now my ex, would show up and start talking about all the things at work, everything that happened, and um, all the things that need to get done at the house, and uh, just unloading, unloading, unloading. So what would happen? It would burn me out. I would I would totally shut down. Now, ladies, this is not to say that men or women are wrong, like I said. It's so you can understand how we feel. Okay. So first off, understand that I understand now, especially with all this experience of being a dating coach, I understand that you're wanting to vent. The tone and the purpose of venting was more important than the content, right? You were just trying to get yourself across. Didn't matter what, you know, if the content was A to Z. But here's the thing, ladies. The way that men take it, we take it as information 
that need to be processed, digested, and analyzed. So not only are we listening and hearing you out, in a way we're over listening because we're lateral thinkers, right? So we, we look at this information and we can make a decision based on it. That's why there's the old habit, the bad habit of men wanting to provide a solution when you really just want to vent. You're just trying to get your, get it off your chest, right? But us... You know, we're, we're looking at the, the, the grocery list. We're looking at all the stuff about your boss being an a-hole. We're looking at all the tedious stuff you had to do at work. We are literally visualizing and processing that information. And when it's too much information, it, it's like a computer that just, you know, loses its virtual memory. If you ever worked with computers where, where you got no... You got no processing speed left. You got no, nothing's working. And that's what happens to some of us. We mentally shut down. We get tired. And it's, it's, it's not to say that we don't care. We're actually in a way over caring to the point that our mind burns out because of the way that our brain works. And that's not to say any of this advice is not mutually exclusive. We know that there's some ladies that can think laterally and process information. I'm not saying that. But at a habit for female versus male nature, it's females more than likely that are going to want to vent, wanting to get the emotional side out because you are beautiful, you are flowy, um, and the emotional flow is what brings you beauty, but if not managed well, it can cause headaches in a relationship. And it's not to say that men or women are at fault. Um, so here's the thing now. It can be seen from a guy's perspective as selfish. That a woman is, is not even caring about the fact that I'm on the couch. I'm tired. We feel like, man, you don't really care about us. You're just like yapping on. When in reality, you're thinking the same about us. Man, this guy doesn't listen. He don't care. We can only deal with, you know, five or 10 minutes max, and then our brain shutting down. And if you want us to just chill out and listen, we need to practice that. And hopefully there's a man, there's males watching this video that can learn from it, learn from how you're wired and how we need to sometimes be able to give you that, that space to vent. But at the same time, we need the space to relax. It's not because we don't care. It's because we've had a long day. We're processing information laterally. And um, we want to give you that. We, I mean, deep down, we want a solid relationship. No one, no mentally healthy person wants a toxic relationship. We want to hear you out because we, we expect that. We expect the same thing. So uh, hopefully that, that kind of helped out. Um, so one thing to do is just give us some time. Give us 20 minutes, 30 minutes to chill out. Okay, he wants to play Xbox. He wants to watch his show. He wants to crack, crack open a cold one. Give us time to decompress. Let, it, let us literally decompress. It's like a computer, right? Let us decompress the files. Let us relax a little bit. And then we, we got you. We can both be part of that relaxed solution. You can vent and I'm relaxed. And we're, 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 we're gelling. So, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully that's something that, that has helped you out. Um, we will open up. Again, I can't emphasize enough that we will open up. You just got to give us that space, that time, and realize that we do care. Um, but we maybe think that you may not, or you may assume that we don't. So, uh, yeah, just let us let us breathe a little bit. And we got you. And some, some men are way better at it than others. Some men, if they have a lot of self-awareness and they have a lot of uh, mental stamina, bam, they could deal with it. They can go into the conversation and they could give you that space to self-express. Others need a little bit more time. They either had a tough day at work or burned out about something going on. And maybe they got to get something off their chest. So hope you like that. Uh, don't forget, as always, you don't want to miss this, okay? 
YouTube is like watching TV nowadays. It's a place to be at. So if you don't want to miss out on these videos, don't forget, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be the first to find out any other Megafire videos and other Dating Doc videos. Thank you.